Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Fridays with Caleb. So, um, I just want to say I'm sorry for such a short video last week. I may have been a little buzzed. Oops. Uh, anyways, this week's topic is how I knew I was trans. Or how I realized, or however you want to see it, or think of it. Yeah. Well, let's go back a while. Back a while. Uh, to the beginning, when I was just a wee little lad. <laughs> um, so a lot of people have said they've known ever since they were little that they were born in the wrong body. I, however, did not know or didn't realize because when I was little I was allowed to dress how I want, play with whatever toys I want, my mom even, or my parents really even let me cut my hair however I want. I wasn't allowed to dye it like this, this fabulous thing I just did a little while ago. Um, but, you know, I could pretty much do whatever I wanted. So that's cool. Uh, I played with whoever I wanted. Like, I had friends that were girls, friends that were guys. And I, we all acted the same. You know, you're little, you all pretty much act the same. And I, our favorite thing to do was just play Star Wars. So that's what we did all the time. It didn't matter if you were a boy or a girl. And it didn't matter what character you played, like, I was allowed to play, like, all, everyone was fine with me playing boy characters, they didn't care, I always did, too, I, I just liked them better, I don't know, um, so yeah, there was that, and everything was good, and then I got, I went through puberty pretty early, I was only 10 when I got my first period, and it was really humiliating, and I thought everyone felt like that. I never wanted to have that. I never wanted to have boobs either. I just, just thought of it was just like, ugh, why? Why do people want that? I didn't understand. I thought other, other females felt like me. Were like, you know, I don't want that. But just accepted it. And was like, hey, whatever. Because that's what I did. I was just like... This is what's going to happen. It's biological. It's just going to happen. And I just went with it. Um, so that happened at an early age, and I just dealt with it. I was like, okay, whatever. <clears throat> but then, around the age of 13, I think it was, I had my first girlfriend. And, uh, I had, I went and talked to the school counselor a lot, because I had a lot of problems with people, uh, you know, like, accusing me of being a lesbian, and, uh, harassing me for it, and I still hadn't figured it out, like, before we started really dating, I, I didn't know if I liked girls, but it was weird at how much I wanted to be around her, and I was just trying to figure it out, you know, it was, it was confusing, because, Growing up, you were always told girls and boys go together. And I was a girl. She was a girl. So it just... That was, that was strange. But I ended up talking to a counselor, our school counselor, a lot. And she told us all the different things in the LGBTQ community. You know, she didn't, like, describe everything, but she kind of told us what... Like the name of it and a brief summary and she said transgendered and I was like transgender what the hell is that and you know she was like transgendered when you're born as one gender but it doesn't feel right and you want to be the other and I was just like oh holy shit like that's when I realized like I I want to be a boy I do I didn't know you could do that I didn't know that was possible like, I just didn't know. I never crossed my mind that that could actually happen. Like, you know, I've heard, I had heard, like, the term tranny, and I knew what it meant, but 
just her putting in, like, those terms, like, making it sound nice and friendly, it, it like, clicked, like, dude, you're, you're in the wrong body. So, from there, there was a few months where I would tell my girlfriend, like, you know, one day I'm gonna be a boy, it's gonna happen, I'm gonna be a boy, and she was fine with it, you know, I was 13, she was 15, I think, if I'm correct, I have a really bad memory, um, she was really supportive, but I remember, you know, it's like one of, she was my first girlfriend, so it was like one of those, we were together for a couple weeks, and then we break up because something stupid, like, I don't even know, but like, dumb shit, and we get back together, and that went on for about, like, a year, like, break up, get together, break up, get together, blah, 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 so, then, from there, it was, like, over two years before I even, like, I never tried to get a girlfriend, I just kind of went with the flow of things, what I do, I just go with the flow, um, it was over two years before I had, got uh, another girlfriend, and... I kind of just pushed that out of my mind. Didn't even think about it. I was just... I was too busy playing games, like video games and stuff. And just chilling with friends. I never gave it much thought after that point um, that I was trans. Yeah. <sighs> so, I start dating this new girl. And... Uh, you know, a couple months into the relationship we decided to have sex. But I was not comfortable with taking my clothes off. So, you know, I'm 17, I think. I think I was 17. And, you know, I never really under... Like, she felt bad because she felt comfortable enough around me to do it. But I couldn't exactly... It's like... I felt totally comfortable around her, but when it came to showing my body, I didn't. I did. I just. I didn't know why though, and um, you know, I can't remember all the details in that time. Like I said, I have a really bad memory. Had had the lead poisoning. Brain doesn't work right anymore. Uh. Yeah. So, but I do remember we were still together. This was towards the end of our relationship. That relationship at um. Lasted about 10 months, I want to say. Uh, I remember cuddling in bed. We're just laying there. She's on my arms, you know, like this. She's laying there. I was like, touching my chest. I was like, I'm going to cut these off one day. I hate these things. Because I have a large chest, so, you know, I was like, anyone with big boobs would hate them. But there are people that like having big boobs, believe it or not. What the um, what is going on with this hair, stupid? Okay. Um, yeah. But I said, I one day I'm going to cut these off. I hate these things. You know, a remark like that. And she was like, you know, Lucas Silvera said that. And for you, those of you who don't know, Lucas Silvera is the lead singer of The Clicks. And he is trans, open, openly trans. At the time, he was living his life as male, but hadn't gone through any... I don't know, I don't think he went through any surgery and he wasn't on T because he was afraid of his voice changing, like, losing his singing voice. Which I gotta say, his singing voice is so sexy now. I know, I'm not gay, but it's definitely sexy. Um, his male voice, I love it way more than his female, but his female voice was really good, too, so, um, but, uh, The Clicks was one of her favorite bands, so she knew everything about him, and she said that, and I was just, like, like, laying there, I knew I was trans at this point, I just never thought about it, I knew I was trans, I knew I wanted to be a boy, so I was just kind of like, what are you trying to say, and she got really nervous, because, you know, <laughs> hinting at, to someone that they're trans, it's kind of a big thing because being trans isn't really that accepted. It's, it feels like now it's a lot more accepted because this was, let's see, I was 17, so 18, 19, 20, 21, 20. This was five years ago. Uh, there's 
trans issues is more known now. It's not, it's not like it's completely accepted. Like, like homosexuality is a lot more accepted than being trans, but, you know, it was, it was much more taboo about five years ago. Um, yeah. <sighs> sorry. I say, um, a lot. I'm sorry. But she said that, and I was just like, what are you trying to say? And she got really scared, and I was like, no, no, I am. And she looked at me, and I was like, I am. I am trans. I want to be a boy. And she's like, the look on her face was like, whoa, you're not mad. And it's almost like she saw it coming. She wasn't surprised at all. Um, that's not why we broke up. We didn't break up because I was trans. We broke up for other reasons. But she was really supportive, and... You know, she was trying to help me along with the stuff, like, she told me about how there's a lot of trans guys on YouTube, and I started watching, like, following trans guys there, which is why I'm in this collaboration, because I want to help guys like that, like, other guys had helped me. So, yes. So that happened, and from there... Uh, things got a lot more intense. I started watching videos and questioning myself, is this really what I want? Is this what I want to do? And it, it was like, even though I knew I was trans and I told myself I want to be a boy, it was still hard to accept it. So when I turned 18, I was like, I finally, like, like, that part of the transition I really needed to figure out for myself. And, uh, she kind of tried to push me forward into, like, what do you want to be called? Do you want me to call you he? And I wasn't ready. I, I will admit it. I was not ready. So I, you know, I had to take time to think about it by myself. I had to tell her, you know, kind of like, hey, we had to back off because this is really hard. This is really scary. And, you know, she just wanted to be there for me. And I really appreciate that. I still appreciate that. I, I want to... I don't know if I've told her, but I really want to tell her, like, thank you for, like, saying that to me. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Um, so I finally accepted, which was really hard. It's really hard to fully be like, yes, I am trans and be okay with it. Be okay with yourself being that way. Um, so me and her had broken up. And I started dating this other girl. And she... She really did. She helped me with transition, too. She was one of my best friends. <clears throat> We're no longer together, but she was one of my best friends. And... She's the one that gave me my name, if you remember that video. But she started calling me he... And Caleb, and it was, it was so weird to hear that. And it was, even through most of our relationship, I still didn't feel, I felt, no, I shouldn't say didn't feel, I felt like a freak for a really long time. And that's hard to deal with, feeling feeling like that, and not a freak like, oh, I'm weird because I dress different, because my hair is colored, I have piercings and tattoos, like, that's being different on purpose. This I didn't, I didn't want to be different, I didn't choose to be different in this way, and I felt, I felt like a freak, I felt a little ashamed, it was scary, but I started going on Tumblr a lot more, and I found, like, trans things, and I no longer feel like that. You, to any of you that feel like that, you shouldn't. Don't feel like that. There are tons of transgendered individuals. And it's, it's, it's not a freak thing. It's normal. We're normal people. There's, just know that. We're not... We're not freaks. You shouldn't feel ashamed to be transgendered. You should be proud that you're... That you're able to get through this. Because this is hard. This is a very hard thing to do. For any of you that don't feel like you can get through this... 
just hold on. Just keep fighting, pushing forward. I swear, it will get better. That being said, I am on hormones now, as you can tell by my voice. <clears throat> it took me four years to do this, to, to see a counselor and be ready to take hormones. I was seeing that counselor for almost three years. Ooh, excuse me. I was seeing that counselor for almost three years before I was ready to do hormones. So don't feel pressured. You can go see a counselor as many times as you need to. A lot of guys and girls go in tr like with the minimum visits so they can get it. I thought that's what I was going to do, but I wasn't ready. And, he, and when I finally got my letter, I still asked myself, Th is this really what you want to do? You can't change this once you start. You want to really do this. And I started, and a month in, I was like, I was still asking myself, you still have time. Are you sure this is what you want to do? It's what I want to do. I feel so much better about myself. It's just great. But uh, this is a really long video. Sorry about that. Um, guess I'm making up for last week. But that's how I realized I was trans. I, there's a lot to it. It's, it was weird. Um, you know, there's a lot of different steps in realizing and accepting. They're two different things. You have you realize you're trans, and then you have to accept that you're trans. So, yeah. Um, so that's how that happened. Um, if any of you guys out there are questioning if you're trans, it is fine to question it. But I suggest you see a counselor and talk to a counselor about it, and they will help you understand yourself better. So, uh, that's all for this week, because it's really, really, really long video. And uh, I'll see you guys next week, next Friday. Um, hopefully my hair will hold this beautiful color. But, uh, yeah, see you guys then. <laughs>